Hello everyone and welcome to Gridlock UIM episode 6. There is also a giveaway in this video for a $50 bond to one winner and a $10 bond to the second winner. All you're going to have to do to enter this is like the video, leave a comment down below with your in-game name, and be subscribed. Much love and I hope you all enjoy! Even with our very minimal range gear, we're still fucking shredding compared to just a few days ago. It's fucking awesome. Been trying to plan out and plot like what would be the next best move for our next region unlock after this. After uh, we hit the dragon boots and void requirement. But I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about all that, all the possible options. I just noticed we can now clean all these Raynars I've been holding on to, so that is fucking awesome. Whole bunch of Herblore XP right there. And the last few for 31. 42 farming. 85 range. First time ever buying the iron arrows. Hell yeah. Well, goddamn, that surprised me for a second. Magic stone. I'm not sure if I'll hold on to that for construction or just sell it. Probably sell it. 73 slayer. 34 herblore. And our 70 task streak. Another 20 points. There's 70 attack, and it's time we work on some more defense. We're also 90 combat now. Only 10 levels until we can access the veteran pest control boat. I've decided on Barrow's Gloves being a unlock after five regions are unlocked. I think that's a pretty fair requirement for it, so that's what it'll be. So just two more region unlocks and we'll be able to wear them bad bitches. I can also get Rune Gloves from Black Demons for a nice in-between upgrade, so that's pretty cool. Didn't get to make too much use of the double XP the last few days. Been busy with Easter and just other stuff in real, but at least we made some nice progress with it. Happy about it, and yeah, we only got like nine Slayer levels left, and eight more combat levels. Not bad at all. 38 Herb Lore and Prayer Potions unlocked. Medium Clue Step 1. Well, uh, supposed to be here. Oh, I have to search the drawers over here. Need to find the key first, alright. Killed Penda for the key. Yeah, there it is. And can we do Step 2? Yes, we can over in Felidor. And can we do the next step? Ooh, Adamant Sword, Sapphire Amulet, Adamant Place Skirt. I'm going to hold on to this for now because we might be able to do this in the near future. 70 defense! Back to strength and range training for now. 82 hit points! Ooh, fuck yeah, there's our Adamant Sword. That is all we need here. <laughs> it's the only spot we could get it. And there it is. 58 prayer. More Rainers for 50 farming. Grinding out some oak tables now so that we can unlock the stash spots. Medium and hard stash spots would be unlocked if we get 55 construction, so that's the goal. They'll just be really super helpful rather than having to get or farm or make these pain the ass items over again. There we go. Stash spots up to hard unlocked, so that is fucking sick. And it's also a good start at construction for the future of Discovery. Hell yeah, our first stash unit built. About to have the amulet, and then we'll just need to get the adamant plate skirt from Moss Giants. So that's not too bad. 81 strength. 82 strength. Fuck yeah, there's the spider discovery notes. 83 strength. There is our Moss Giant field note. Fuck yes, there it is. Our adamant plate skirt. 161 KC for that fucker. We'll take it. Fuck yes, our first ever medium cast kit right there. That's fucking sick. I was not sure if we'd be able to get one, but there it is. And good luck us. What will we see? Ah. Some GP. Gold ore is alright for some smithing XP. Yeah, that's about it. 47 smithing from our 70 gold ore. 75 slayer. 86 range. 76 slayer. I've been loving these earth warrior tasks for the seeds and herbs. Fucking sick. 
And there is our 80 Slayer Task Streak. Pretty fucking nuts that we've done that many already, but yeah, here we are. God damn, just got 40 rune crafting from our daily task. That's fucking sick. We'll most definitely take that. Our cash stack is actually building right now with how lucky we've got. Vanica's just been real kind lately. 87 range, 90 streak, 78 slayer. We now have all of the basic relics, but I'm still gonna just camp the coal of the week. It's, it's so fucking nice to use. Our 100 Slayer Task Streak. Fuck yeah, 100 points. 55 farming. And good luck, these two crystal keys. <laughs> A Castle Wars cloak. Ooh, 80 myth bars. That's not bad. Got a few things on the block list now, just so that we can save a little bit more cash. Eighty-seven hit points. That also brings us to ninety-nine combat. One level to go for the veteran PC boat. Eighty-nine range. It's really nice. I could just chill and corral these black demons in the corner and safe spot them. Big boy numbers now. Ninety range. Ooh, fuck yeah! There it is. Haroon gloves. I was just camping these black demons so we could get those. It's a very nice upgrade. One hundred thirty-two KC. So yeah, we're about double drop rate on those. 91 range, 58 farming, 88 hit points, 75 defense, and that's also one of the goals we've been striving for this last few days to week. 100 combat, so now we have unlocked the veteran pest control boat. It's fucking sick, and we can start grinding out our uh, our full E void here soon. I really want to get the 83 slayer that we need though, and get our dragon boots first, I think. I think that'll be my, my first step, and then I'll get the void after that. 82 Slayer, one level left, and then we can hunt the Dragon Boots. I can't believe I just now am realizing this, but Mistalin area also includes Fossil Island and Xenaris, according to like the Trailblazer rules and stuff, and that's kind of what I'm going off of too for this series, what the regions include. So since that's included with Mistalin, I can start getting Slayer tasks from Chelder and Xenaris, so that's fucking sick. I don't know if it'll be more helpful or not. I'll check it out and see. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And Fossil Island will be really useful for Hunter in the future, so I'm really fucking happy about that. It's pretty cool we'll be able to access those places. Still trying to think and uh, decide totally what I'm going to do for the next region and what's going to be the next best goals to go for and all that, but we got a little bit more time to decide. There's a lot of nice perks about unlocking Mauritania, so I'm thinking about doing there next. I would be able to get the Slayer helmet, Barrow's gear. Just the Slayer would be able to shoot up so much farther because I'd be able to do so many more Slayer tasks. There's a lot that are in the Mauritania area. I've been thinking about Kandarin as well because we could start Agility and there's a lot of Slayer tasks in that area, I think, as well. Not as many, though. Like, there's way more in Mauritania and Fremnik. Yes, just kind of pondering all the possibilities. First ever Chowder task. 50 black demons. We'll take it. Yes. What do you want to say? That one. That one? Yeah. This is Hello, hello. I saw the bow. Shooting the bow. You a guy? You is a guy? Finally, the end of this black demon task. 860k. Oh, and that's our 130 streak for 50 points. That is sick. Grabbing a Ceridoman cape for whenever we get our dragon boots. 92 range. Here it finally is. The moment I've been waiting for. 83 Slayer. So now we have the ability to get the dragon boots and evoid and we can knock out this region. We can unlock our next region soon. So that's really fucking sick. Really happy we got that done today. Dragon Boots shouldn't be too bad to get at all. They're only 1 out of 128, and Evoid will only take like 2 hours or so with a mass. That's super fucking awesome. So happy about it. We're just about ready to unlock our next region, I just gotta think about it and decide where is gonna be the next best place to go, because I'm still pretty undecided at the moment. The Call of the Week Relic has helped so much with this grind overall. I'm so happy we got it real early on. Thank you all for watching Gridlocked UIM Episode 6.
And now for our giveaway winners. Good luck to you all. And our $50 rank bond winner is... Dion Vandermeer in game name Fuels. Progress is nuts in this video. Hell yeah, man. I really appreciate that. And congrats on your $50 rank bond. And our $20 rank bond winner is... Jars RSPS in game name Jars. Congrats. You have won a $20 rank bond. And much love to you all. I hope you all enjoyed this vid. And I'll catch you in the next one.